Oh. All right, so. Come here onto Trello, you will see that initial kind of project. So this is a this is a what what you call like a reference sheet right and this is what you kind of do when you find when someone asks you to make something the first thing you go out is you go and gather resource and the resource basically lets you go in and then start to find different uh, excuse me different containers, um, weapons containers that you could use, or elements, or different angles of the same one, right? Because you want as many angles as possible of what it is you're about to model, okay? Um, For instance, you can see that this top one right here where my mouse is, is a different one from here. They're very similar, but one is squashed and shorter, right? Uh, this is more of a briefcase kind of thing. Huh? This one is basically a combination of... Uh, like this and this, but then what they've done, they've, they've turned it into more of a sci-fi crate. Uh, I believe this was made for Borderlands. Okay. Alright. So... This guy here, I think, will be the one that we use. Um, come on, what is going on here? Jesus. I should be able to click and go to the next one. Are you kidding me? Say it again. What the hell? Change the interface. Hate that. Hate when people do when that happens. Now I thought I had um, a bunch of resource here that I just gathered for this project, and I can't seem to find it. I know I, I grabbed it all. I, I'm uh, let's see if I can see it right quick. I just grabbed a bunch of it, a bunch of stuff for us. And, uh, no. yeah, Jesus, bless you. 
I can't seem to find it. Damn it. Had all the next steps that we were going to do. Because what we're going to be doing is making a weapons case. Then we will move into making a Glock. And then from the Glock, once I feel as though you have made a Glock successful, then you're on your own. And you can make from there add-ons. So you can make these little kind of add-ons here and if you feel bold enough you could do something as crazy as that All right. All right. so first thing we're going to do is make the weapons briefcase then we're moving into the actual weapon and then the add-ons for the weapon. Right. And now what it's going to be up to you to do is to find your add-ons and assemble a board together like this. Right? Or like what I've done here, you know? Where you find the correct things and you make it and then you assemble it. Yeah. All right, cool. So this is what we're going to get started with. Maybe crate isn't the right thing. Now, if you kind of go online, you type in weapons crate, you can find a lot of cool 3D weapons crates, like some people have done in and designed, right? Like so, pretty awesome. But what we'll be doing is starting off with just a kind of standard crate. Wow, look at that one. Jesus Christ. But this is this is primarily step one, right? Why? Does anyone could anyone answer that? Because it's what? Simple. That's right. It's simple and it's blocking. And it's, you're just getting what? The main outer shape, right? Well, Alright, there's some other ones, some cool designs. Right. You want to be able to work your way up to where this kind of stuff is easy. Right. And here's some other high-end weapons crates that this guy has gone absolutely bonkers with. Okay. How much time do you spend looking at 3D art? I mean, forget playing video games. 
actual art, right? If you're more playing video games than you are looking and doing this, then you're in the wrong class. You, you're doing the wrong thing. Right? You're doing the wrong thing. Just because you like playing video games doesn't mean you will be good at making 3D art or like making 3D art. Just that's not the point. Yeah, right. You want it's two different things. One is there to entertain. One is actual a friggin' job. So you gotta go spend long hours, stressed out. <laughs> All right, stressed, and you're trying to hit deadlines and you're trying to make it look good. Two different things. So be aware of what you want and what you're trying to accomplish. All right, so let me say this. Cool, axes are looking quite nice. Very good. Good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that one came out good. Very nice. Should have went into your settings and switched on anti-aliasing and so on and it would have came out looking better. Wow. What? Is that the size of it? No way. <laughs> Who made it that size? It's like looking at thumbnails. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, dude, that I, I for, when I first saw it, I was like, dude, this looks impressive. But yes, because it's, it's tiny. Right. It looks good, but it's tiny. Okay. Oh man, how do I get out of this thing? <laughs> Not bad. Oh, excuse me. Good execution, but on the model, but not the render. Remember, rendering presentation is everything. This is very good, this one. <laughs> With that like that, it looks like an umbrella. Like, doesn't look like it's gonna do any damage to you, you know? This is cool. Definitely. Very good. I like it. It's got like a very orc kind of feel to it. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Watch your colors. This feels like a candy stick. Like, this feels like pudding. I mean, you wouldn't want to pick this creamy yellow for a weapon, would you? It just makes no sense. 
we were making a kids game? Yeah. Very good, except for this umbrella. Oh, nice. That came out awesome. I like the render. Very good, very good. Once again, very jaggy. You don't want to present like this. And unfinished. Right? Always got to finish. Always got to finish. Not bad. Not finished, though. Not bad, not bad. You finished, which is good, but just presentation. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. So this time, now, what we're going to do is you're going to have to work kind of from a perspective image. Right? It's up to you now to work from this kind of perspective image. Right? I'm going to give you just a quick 20-minute demo. Get started. And now it's just up to you. Now. It's just up to you. Get in there. Start doing your research. Start looking to make this thing. Go on YouTube. Look at YouTube. Weapons crate. Sci-fi crate. Boom, 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 boom. How are these guys making a crate? Boom. And you'll start seeing things. Research. Don't wait for me. Get... I quite haven't decided that yet. I'm, I'm always on the fence. I, I may let you do your own. I'm thinking, how much trouble will that get you here? Too? <laughs> like when I've got to run over there and go, hey, I, I, mine does, I can't do, hey, mine, I can't figure, oh, I'm like, shit, man. Right? I'll be all over the place. I'm scared to let him do that. Man, I hate that. Because I, I, I used to do that at the Art Institute. And man, I would, I would be running around the class for four hours. And me, and, and me, 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 I can't do, th I can't do this. Uh, I got, uh, I'll tell you what, to start off, I let you do this weapons crate, everyone do it again, right? If I feel, like, and I, like I said, I'll let you run with it, okay? Well, so I'll start you off, and I'll let you run, and see how far you can run with it. Then when we get to the weapon, the gun, then you can choose your own gun, your own Apache, okay? So start this off one and get attached to the <laughs> I know, and I have like a nightmare on my hands. Well, mine's a revolver. Well, how do I do the, oh man, look it up, look it up, but Here's the same th here's the thing. The way we approach this and the way we approach the axe is the way you're gonna approach the bar, the gun, the car, everything. Everything, it's a formula, it's not magic. I used to think it was magic, I used to be like, well, how am I gonna start this? Easy. Eight-sided cylinder, one-sided plane, a cube, a low-end sphere. That's it. End of story. It's not rocket science. It's the same process all the time, every time. Alright. So, yes, we will use this. I'm going to save this right now and put this into 
Dropbox. I'm in into uh, D Drive. D Drive, Mark Leon. You guys can access D Drive, right? Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's for the network like that. Hmm. Okay. I'll put this on Trello. Yeah. All right. Any sort of microphone on there? Uh, I, I believe so. I just done a test. I am recording. Good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, I set out to do that. All right. Cool. Now. Add a card, uh, weapon, crate. Box, weapons, crate. Ah, what's going on today? Crate. So what, we're on week eight. By next Thursday, complete. That gives you the weekend, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay? That's how fast we're moving now. So let's see. Thursday. On the 19th. Weapons crate. Hi, Polly. Do ten nineteen. Add. All right. Here. So attach. Peter. So. All right, so here's the thing that you have to remember. What are we going to do now for our own sanity? Because I used to never do this, and when I started to do this is when I started to gain speed, momentum, and everything. You will make a checklist for yourself in a notebook or online or somehow. Checklist one, title. Modeling steps. And boom. Modeling steps. And what we're going to do is add in blocking. Blocking mesh. Otherwise known as what? Proxy. When you go into game studios or into movie studios or anything like that, when they refer to a proxy, it means a proximity. Something in the realm of what it is that you're about to put into your client. So proximity mesh is just a point of And then over the course of a year, you will see that proximity. Step two. Step one was blocking mesh. Step two is high poly. So that's creasing, creasing edges and adding edge loops, holding edge loops. Say it again. Yes. Increasing edges and adding holding edge loops. Okay. Yes. 
So what I want to do here is kind of come into here and I'll go one big shapes. Two mid shapes. All right, it'll be up there. Then you can just go up there and look at it. Three. Small shapes. Small, small shapes. <sighs> All right. Big shapes, mid shapes, small shapes. Why? Because we always work from what? Outside in, outside in, outside in. Okay. Then three, refine details. There you go. All right. So this is how. I, I by the way, I use Trello for my personal, um, for my personal uh, freelance work as well. And whoever I'm working for, client wise, I go in and make you know uh, invite them to it, and then basically I put a link like this. Actually, they do it by hours, okay? So they want to know how many hours because what they care about is the bottom line, money. How much money is this going to cost you? Well, there's the money, and that's how much. Off you go. Okay. okay, so there's the image. All right. Everyone download that image. And take a look at it and take a good hard look. And then look online for images that are similar to this crate so you can get maybe a cider angle and a back view angle. Okay? Love Lee. How you doing, Maria? I'm doing all right. Good, good.
I will now proceed to do a quick walking demo of this piece of Now, I'm going to model it right from I, so we'll see. You're awesome. Yeah. Now, first thing I'm going to do with my viewport. Oh, by the way, yeah, there you go. Sorry, monitor's off, please. Yep. You know how these are. Very distracted, but very easily. Okay. <clears throat> First thing I want to do <clears throat> is have my viewport set up in a way that I feel represents um, this object. Yes. So I'm not working with an object that is what? Vertical, straight up and down. I'm working with an object that is horizontal. So what I'll do, I'll take this slider and I'll slide it all the way over, snap, slide this one all the way over and snap. There you go. Now I will come in and insert my image plane. So import my image. Let's go here, here. Arch Leon project. Weapon crate, there you go, good. Boom, nice. Say that again? Yes. I will move the crate back, yes. And then I will sit the crate up somewhat on the floor, something like that. These are called a weapons crate, right? What are, what are these things called? I just always call them LSD. A what? <coughs> oh, okay, okay. So what you guys may need, may can, oh, blah. What you guys might be able to do is find one that has the orthographic view, front, side, and top. After the demo, do yourselves a favor and look. So right away, I'm going to go into my show. So basically, I'm going to first go to modeling only, and then right here, show I'm going to hide my image plane for this viewport and keep it on in this viewport. Then I will add it to a layer and turn that to reference only. So now I can't select it. But what I'll do is click on that layer, select object and come down to alpha gain and go 0.5. Boom. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> So these green things here, I think that's like camera and lights. I always come in here, I go here, switch off lights and switch off camera. Boom. There we go. Now, cube. So we'll start off. First one, you know, step one, create a cube. Then what we're going to do is D and V, and we're gonna snap the point down to the bottom of the cube, and then snap the point of the cube to pivot to the grid, right? From here, I will scale it upward, something like 
thus, and then scale it widthwise to about right there. Maybe a little bit more higher. Now I'm using this just as a general kind of thing, yes? <coughs> so the next thing I'll do is I will select an edge on the top and then what am I going to do? Split it. Boom. Right down the middle. So it's split right down the middle and right away in this viewport, I am already seeing like, oh, you know, you went a little crazy here. Bring that down. There you go. Good. Yep. That's about right, maybe. Yep. Yes, it's about right there. <coughs> So, and now I'll come here and split it again. Split. There we go. And then <coughs> I will start to give this the correct rounded edges. So basically, we're going to select all the perimeter edges like so yep and from this bevel from here add just two in the segments there we go. That's what we want. We want two in the segments. And now I'll <coughs> also increase the height again to about right here. Good. Now we want to do what? We want to create a top and a bottom for this thing. So right away, come in, insert edge, and that feels about right. Boom. And then from here, double click that edge, and we can do what? Shift, right click, and detach component. That means now I have a top and I have a bottom. Okay. Yes. <coughs> I'm also about to add a foam material on there. And I'll adjust the color, make it darker a little, and then I'll take the. Uh, um, cost fine, power down, and I will increase the, the white just a little. Okay. Could you also do uh, the multi cut tool from uh, Vibrant Graphics and have the same result? Yes. Okay. You can. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is double click on the top section of this and I'm going to go shift right click extract face and there you go there's your top and there's your bottom Now I want to get a better look at what's going on here. So what I will do is actually I'm going to increase 
this up some like this and then I'm going to just adjust mine slightly no? And what the Jesus Christ get I said that <coughs> show and here I'm just going to switch off my polygons because I want to be able to see now what's going on with this crate so I can get a better idea <coughs> So now we have these two bottom kind of piece inset pieces and this these top inset pieces, right? So the first thing I want to do is kind of establish that. And what I will do is I will go to my modeling tools and I'll switch on symmetry along the X world X sorry world X there you go tool yes all right good so now what I want to do is come in and go edge Ring split. I oh God, I hate that. It's supposed to have symmetry. It's supposed to do it to both sides. It still doesn't do it. But what I'm going to do, because that really pisses me off and annoys me, I will go here and delete here. Because I'm not going to model this to, on both sides every time. That's ridiculous. So. Here's a trick for you. Select the bottom half, go to edit, duplicate special. Click in the box, go to scale, and on the first one, which will be the X, type in just negative, and go apply. Boom, there you go. Oh, guess what? Wrong. Delete. Selected the faces and just deleted it. Oh. So select the bottom half again, and this time for geometry type, click instance. Then in scale, negative one, <coughs> apply. Select the top, instance, apply. Now guess what? Anything I do here will do it for that side automatically. Like, I don't even need symmetry on. I can just come here and go, yeah, right, and go, yeah, all right. Now I have total symmetry on anything that I do perfectly. Okay. So now. Gonna select edge again, and I am going to here, here, here. Perfect. Look at that. It worked. And watch this. If I bring that in, awesome. Just awesome. Yep, that's lovely. Okay, and I'll switch on my wireframe so I can see exactly 
what's going on now you see what i'm doing i am mapping what these these little inset areas i'm mapping them out like so i'm starting to add the lines in see because i want the cut so basically you see how this edge here and this edge here they're represented by that edge here and that edge here now it also stops here so i want to now come in and halfway in the middle here i want to go edge ring split boom and there you go good okay and it should have it for the back here i think don't know yet so all i'm doing right now is laying in the lines the correct lines for all this now real quick let me just duplicate all this Control d and i'm going to put it on another layer and i'll call this layer back up just in case just in case i screw up back up okay nice save yes and let's go hide now because this is what i'm talking about right here this is how now i can come here you know no, and what the f man? Something like that, <clears throat> and like that. Okay, and now we have the beginnings of the inset of that crate. Okay, <clears throat> so you see how I'm lying. I'm lying laying in the mapping lines for all of this so now um we go edge here 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 and here and scale boom bring them in first i want to move this one up like this and then i'll flip that back like that and bring these in that cool all right very nice very nice indeed cool let's switch on our ambient occlusion it's always good to model in ambient occlusion and then I'll switch on my ambient occlusion. I'll turn that to 1. Point, whoa, 1.5. There we go. Now you'll see that, like, if I switch off my wireframe, you see that's what I have so far. Okay. And here, <coughs> see how it's got these weird angles. If I come here and I say smooth, soft, and hard, and I go soft and hard. Whoop, should fix that. There we go. Nope. Actually, I'm just going to select it all and go soft. Then what I'll do is come here, double click that edge, double click that edge, that edge, here, 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 and here. See, this is what I love about using uh, instant mesh instead of symmetry mesh because it's just doing it for me automatically like there's no problems then i'll go shift right click soft hodge and then hard edge boom there we go nice now we're going to work on the bottom part okay and this is done the same way so I'll click on an edge and I will go here, insert, there we go, lovely. And now I will click again and split the edge and move this edge over like so. Nice. Yes. And if I want them to be absolutely perfect, see, I can now just go here and move and hold down V 
click on the X arrow axis and snap. Boom. There you go. Whoa, what happened there? Did I? Son of a bitch. There. Wow. Gotta be careful with Maya. It will get you every time. And now, the same thing. I'm going to insert the edge. Right? And that's going to hold that shape. So, I'll insert like so. There you go. And now, I should be able to come in. So you see, and then what I'll do here is bring this edge and pull this edge down just a little. So we still get that kind of rounding feel to it. And bring it straight like this so it just kind of stops. Wow, boom. All right, look at that. Told you this stuff is easy, you yeah? know? It's just laying out the general lines of what it is that you want to do. How good are we on time? That was it? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, begin. All right. And uh, YouTube guys, here we go. Let's load that YouTube. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, hold on. Let me grab uh, out here. Yeah, where are you going? Get back here. Stop recording.